Hi, this is Stacy from the Complete Herbal Guide. In the last video, we talked about simple ways to stop hair thinning. In our last video, we talked about simple ways to stop thinning hair. In this video, we're going to discuss some great ways to cover dark under eye circles and reduce puffiness. As we age, puffy eyes and dark circles can become a very occurring problem that is not only irritated, but hard to cover up. They can also make us feel less than beautiful. But never fear, there are natural treatments and over-the-counter products that can help reduce puffy eyes and dark circles when used properly. The trick is to find one that works the best for your situation. Here are some natural treatments to cover dark under eye circles and reduce puffiness. As we discussed before in our last video, a healthy inside leads to a healthy outside. So one of the first things you can do is reduce your consumption of salt. Also, vitamins that you can use in your daily diet that can help you include vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. Make sure you include those into your diet. And also, make sure you're getting enough of sleep as well. Here are some home remedies that also remove puffiness and darkness. There are also popular home remedies that can work to remove puffiness and darkness. These include applying green tea bags, fresh cut cucumbers, cold spoons. This may sound a little odd, but a hemorrhoid cream like Preparation H. These can work very well for short-term relief. Just keep in mind, when using the hemorrhoid cream, be sure not to use it every day and avoid getting it into your eyes because it could be very harmful. Here are some natural, over-the-counter products that you could use to remove the puffiness and darkness from your eyes. When locating products for puffy eyes, look for ingredients with horse chestnut that promotes microcirculation. Also look for aloe that soothes and hydrates, ivy to decongest and eliminate excess water, caffeine to decrease the swelling, green or white tea to soothe the redness and inflammation, also cucumber to reduce the inflammation, and licorice to reduce the puffiness and soothe the irritation. Some people have the daily morning darkness referred to as raccoon eyes. That is near the underside of the eyes, making the person appear tired, old, and even drugged out looking. The fact that some people have it naturally, even when getting the right amounts of sleep, leads them to alternate products to remove the dark circles. Look for products with vitamin K to stimulate the blood flow and repair broken capillary walls near the eyes. Vitamin A, C, and E to reduce free radicals and to increase the antioxidant protectors. Peptide technology to promote collagen to firm the eye tissue. Hesperidin to strengthen the capillaries to reduce the leaking and reduce blood pooling, as well as improving the microcirculation in the eye region. Kanika acid to lighten the skin areas from discoloration. Eye bright pearls and light diffuser to visually filter light and to brighten and illuminate the eye regions. To camouflage the darkness, use a peach or salmon colored concealer. For the puffiness, Use a nylon concealer brush to add a thin layer of the product in the creases below the puffy area. After you add a concealer a few shades darker than your foundation, apply the foundation before the concealer. If you're thinking about going to a cosmetic doctor, then there's two options you might want to consider. The first one is wrinkle fillers. When you're seeking a longer fix, there are injectable wrinkle fillers such as Juvederm and Restylane, but these should only be administered by a licensed professional and only when you're exhausted by other less invasive treatments. The filler is injected around the puffy area to remove the indentation as a result of the puffiness. And then there's Botox. Botox is commonly used to smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. They all have the same effect of creating a younger appearance to the eyes. These methods are also very costly and usually only last a few months 
before the procedure needs to be done again. When it comes to treating dark circles and puffiness under the eyes, the process is often time consuming and requires a lot of trial and error before finding the right regimen that works the best for you. I hope this video about dark circles and puffiness around the eyes helped you. Make sure you look for our next video soon. We'll be talking about finding the right remedy for irritating dry eye. Until then, and one more thing, don't forget to subscribe in the subscribe box and also leave a comment. Did you like this video? Can you relate to it anyway? We'd like to know.